So let us pray now for another surprise from God, a fresh one. Let us ask for our world to be changed. So surprising God, wake us from our coronavirus weary lives and breathe into us a fresh start, a fresh energy. Allow us to know and feel that the end of lockdown is coming that we may have the patience we need to survive today and tomorrow. In our forced withdrawing, help us to draw closer to you, to put our hearts right before you by repairing our relationship. Show us who you are. Grant us eyes that see as you see. Surprising Christ, where we see hunger, let us be servers. Where we see loneliness, let us be companions. And where we see injustice, help us to turn the tables. Where we see hopelessness, help us to bring the light of hope. And where we see sickness to bring healing. Where we see the downcast, help us to bring joy. Where we see hatred, may we bring love. And where we hear you calling, may we follow. Surprising Spirit, help us now to pray for those situations that you have placed on our hearts. We remember before you those who have died during this pandemic. Acknowledging the fact that the UK this week went over that 100,000 death landmark. Each and every one of these was a brother, father, mother, wife, son, daughter, friend. We remember that death is not the only loss during this pandemic. We lift up to you those who have lost jobs, houses, family members, through divorce, splitting up, we remember before you the nurses and doctors and the healthcare workers that are working under stressful situations every day. Dealing with their own situations as well as caring for others. And whilst we're talking about the stress, we pray for parents and teachers who are preparing for homeschooling students. We know too that some grandparents, uncles, nephews, friends, other members of the family are involved in homeschooling. Give all involved strength and a perseverance to get through. We pray for those political leaders that are calling for various things at this time. As Scotland call for another independence referendum. And as the EU continue to threaten and enact rules that restrict the exportation of vaccines, we pray for wisdom and patience. We ask that our political leaders would be guided by you. That they would remember that your command was to love thy neighbour. 
We ask this especially this week as we've also remembered the Holocaust, all that lost those their lives in that. May we remember the lessons that we may not return to warfare, that we may not return to bullying our neighbours. Having prayed for ourselves, we pray too for those countries that do not have the resources ours does. May your blessing be upon them. Your love reach out to them and bring justice and peace to us all that we may see your kingdom here on earth as we join our prayers together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our final song reminds us that God is waiting for us everywhere. He is waiting for us everywhere we go. So join in as we sing, Jesus Christ is waiting, waiting in the streets. <laughs> 